going to add on to the sister's dollhouse. This is Sophie and Chloe's old kitchen, and we want something a little more open. And we're going to build it on the back of their closet, where we have a large light blue wall. And we're going to recycle a few items from this kitchen. I wonder how much of this kitchen can I actually repurpose? Let's start by taking out the sink, remove the back of the stove, take out the counter, remove the side windows, and cut it down the middle. I paint the parts that I am going to reuse, I cover the doors with white paper, then I begin putting it back together. I've run into a little bit of a problem. The white is making it very obvious that my lines are not completely straight. And it's not looking very neat, so it's time to come up with plan B. And that's a chance that you take with crafting. Sometimes it's not gonna work out the way you plan, and you may have to improvise. Now plan B is gonna be a lot simpler. We're gonna just make faux cabinets in the front. I can salvage the stove and the refrigerator and reuse the cabinet doors. So I cut a piece of cardboard that can go all the way across, cover it with paper, and glue it onto the front. Resize and cut the cabinet doors, then I glue them onto the front to make the front of the cabinets. Cut a long piece of cardboard for the countertop, cut an opening for the sink, cover it with paper before gluing the counter on. I place the cabinets into the room and use scrapbook paper to make a backsplash. Now I'm going to glue the cabinets into place, glue on the counter, add the back of the stove, I want a large window here. However, since the closet is on the other side, I cut a picture out of a magazine, use white paper for trim, and since it's just paper, I can have a little fun with the design. Then glue it in place over the sink. Add the sink, I repaint the hood from the other kitchen. It was copper, now we're making it silver. And glue it above the stove. Since I got rid of all of the working cabinets, I am going to add some open shelves by covering pieces of cardboard with scrapbook paper and gluing them onto the wall. Paint wooden beads with nail polish. Finally cut a piece of cardstock, leaving it connected at the bottom. Roll it so it can fit inside the bead. Glue the bead to the shelf and the wall to give it support. Now we can display our cups and plates on the shelves. I found these tiny glass jars at the dollar store. They contained glitter for nail art. I filled them with seasonings and glued them to the shelves for seasonings. And you could always substitute real spices for cut paper and sand. I follow our doll shoebox video to make a basket to hold our doll silverware. And I'm just gonna place that on the shelf. Add some cooking utensils, a toaster, and paper towels from previous videos, use buttons and sticker gems for refrigerator magnets. We use our beach house table and chairs for a small eating area. I'll have to add two more chairs later. A while back, I found these mini frames at the craft store. I attach them to the wall and glue little things inside, glue seashells or charms inside, glue beads onto the cabinets for knobs, and our printable light switches, and outlets to the walls. We even added a picture of the sisters onto the fridge. For a little more counter space, we can bring over the island from a previous video to complete our doll kitchen renovation. I love how we recycled a recycled craft, and we still have a refrigerator that can open and close, as well as a stove. And now the dolls can go from the living room to the kitchen. However, I think I want to change the couch. Yeah, I do. This is the couch from our Sofa 2 video. And now we have space to add something here later. We'll just use a plant for right now. The Sisters Dollhouse is a work in progress. So check back to see what's next. And you're done. Happy crafting!
give a shout out to Sanaya Johnson. What's up? Sophie, after three days, I am finally finished with the kitchen renovation. Come take a look. So, what do you think? It's nice. Just nice? Well, I was kind of expecting to see some Star Wars or something. I mean, there's horses all over the living room for Chloe. I thought for sure the kitchen would be mine. Maybe we could put some Tardis salt and pepper shakers over there? Well, I do have one of Grandma's famous pies. I thought we could celebrate the new kitchen. And what a kitchen it is! I just love how open and bright everything is! And those open cabinets, Mom, oh, they're fabulous! Now let the celebration begin! Sure, as soon as your father and sister get home. Aww.